Oh. <laughs> Hello. Hi. I, uh... I appear to have the wrong house. It's okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Bye. So, to uh, break it down for you, these two contracts differ. One shows the permanent record. This is how everything should be. Uh, this is before time travel came into the situation. Uh, and the other, well, the other basically shows how your husband has essentially changed time, breaching his contract. Now, he's perfectly within his rights to go back to 1987, spending large sums of money with his new fiance, but- Fiance? Look, your husband stole from you before he left. Now, in a situation like this, I urge you to bring him back, take him to court, and settle things, rather than terminate his contract. So, what we can do... No. With... Sorry? No. I want it terminated. Mrs Hayden, do you realise the implications that that... Look, with a defence as strong as yours, I am sure we can get your financial status back on track. How do you expect me to live in the same world as him? So has it not been renewed? No, it's a... Uh, it's not that kind of contract. When I'm done, I'm done. I can go wherever. Tough day. It was odd. I gave a woman a choice to bring her husband back. And I tried to reason with her, but but she sealed it. Hey, hey come on, Emin, you tried. There's nothing else you could do. If it had been Tony, then There I was a girl. What girl? She was young. My file dictates that she should have been sealed like her parents, but... What does that mean? Are the contracts wrong? I don't know. But surely somebody's contract must be sealed in her place. You'll be fine. So what about your contract? Well... It allows me to take somebody with me. So what I was thinking, Mia, we could talk about it more. So, Chloe. Why are you here to see me? You're the only person that knows why your parents left. More to the point, without you. Look, it's only been a month. Surely you can remember why they left. How would you feel if you'd been left behind? Have you ever thought about a family? I suppose. Tony always wanted a boy. What about a girl? I'd like a girl. We could go wherever we wanted. We could have a family. 
I'm waiting for Tony. Why can't you come with me? I'm in. Chloe! What are you doing here? I've got a couple more questions, Chloe, regarding your parents. We need to finally work... Why do you care? Stop pretending. Look, I do care, Chloe. But so do my bosses, and the powers that be in the office, they need closure on the case. Do you have any idea why they left you? I don't know. Looks like you haven't eaten in days. Are you hungry? Come on, I'll get you some lunch. So, that's why she's in two minds. She thinks Tony is going to return for her. But then, doesn't that mean she'll go off with him? Well, she doesn't know where he's been or what he's been doing. And from what I've read, he's a changed man. I don't even think he'd want her. I'd try and find my parents. Find out why they never came back for me. If I had the choice to go. It doesn't work like that, you see. When you go back, you create your own time, which into... You know what? Forget about it. What have you read about my parents? Not enough to understand. They're not coming back, are they? Did they say anything before they left her? No. Just that they'd be back soon. And of course, after they won on that lottery ticket, well, we had to close the contract. The girl just thinks she's been left. But I haven't got the heart to tell her. It's been nearly a month. I don't understand what's taking Tony so long. You're not trying to compare Chloe's situation to yours, are you? Well, it's been nearly two years. How do you think I feel? Mia, she's basically a child. She's not been abandoned. Now look, I don't know what you think Tony's doing, but surely you can see that you have been. He abandoned you out of choice. He's not coming back. How do you know that? Is this... Is that what this relationship is based on? You feel sorry for me. It's my job, Mia. Look, I know what Tony's been up to. The lies, the affairs. He's no good for you. At least he doesn't kill people for a living, Emma. You do. How do you expect me to love you? Nice. Can I have the remote, please? Yeah, sure. Thank you. Look, um, I'm sorry I couldn't give you closure with your parents. It's fine. You tried. You know, it does get quite lonely travelling. I could do with some company. Oh, well, if you'd uh, rather I ask somebody else, that's fine. Wait, you're not actually serious. I wouldn't be asking otherwise. <laughs> Look. We both kind of need new lives. This one's kind of left us behind a bit, hasn't it? Where would we go? Where do you want to go?